Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is time for Unreal Engine Christmas in September, that time of the month where Unreal Engine gives away five free assets plus one to the permanently free collection. All you have to do is buy them, air quotes, for zero dollars before the first Tuesday of next month. We're going to jump in and take a look at all of these assets and I know if you're regular to the channel, it's probably a little Unity heavy right now. There is an ongoing Unity bundle. I'm reviewing a number of assets in that bundle, but today, today is your day. Today we're going to look at one of the assets. First, I uh, we're actually going to take a quick hands-on with three of the assets in this pack. First one here, this is the Alchemist House. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It is all of the assets you see here to create this level. So if you want to create an Alchemist style level, uh, that is what this pack is all about. Let me just exit out of advanced mode or um, immersive mode here. I'll show you the overview and you'll see all of the individual assets in this pack. So pretty straightforward. You got a number of pillars, walls, modular walls. Uh, and then just kind of nicks and knacks that can go together to populate the environment. So obviously, if you want to, you can pull a single element out of here if you just need a chest or a bed or whatever. But it's basically a modular kit for building the environment we just saw. Pretty straightforward on the whole. That is the Alchemist House. Uh, we've got a couple of other ones like that. We've also got an old brick house. So let me just bring up the... Uh demonstration map on that one. Uh, this one is kind of the same thing, but a completely different environment. This one is a, uh, well, an old style brick house. Uh, I'll pause it while it's loading. All right, here we go. So this is what you get in this case. So all of the stuff on the outside, I don't know why the environment is so bloomed out for lighting, but you can see here, you've got a gate, you've got uh, some grass, you've got a tarp with ugh, what's underneath here. Actually, it might be a boat. Uh, we've got a uh, back door here and so on, a barbecue, uh, a loaf of bread, a goblet. <laughs> and then let's go inside the house. You can see here we've got uh, all the stuff you need to create kitchens and so on, a variety of different rooms here, including some that feel like they're places where murders happened. Uh, here we've got uh, an old school TV, uh, some paintings on the wall, etc. We've got wallpaper going on here. Let's go on upstairs now. And do we have anything behind the door? Yes, we have a very creepy bathroom with a very creepy dividing wall that's over here. Thankfully, nothing. Uh, head on down around. You got, again, some bedrooms and so on. So everything you see here to create this environment is available in this pack. Let's go check out the overview. You can see the individual assets. Again, if you just need one of the assets, you can get it. By the way, the house itself is not modular. It is a single object. Uh, so you're not building it out of walls and bits and bobs and pieces. It's it's one piece. But the gating, all the floors, the carpets, everything else you saw, all of the um, the inventory inside of the house is available in this pack. Uh, pretty straightforward on the whole. So we got two content packs in this month's uh, asset dump. And then today we also got, uh, where did you go? right in front of me. Uh, we got procedural walls. This one's actually kind of neat. I'm just load up the demo here and level demo. All right. So what this allows you to do is basically create walls using splines. And then uh, it's got advanced facilities there for things like um, putting moss on the walls, painting with different textures. So here you can see a variety of different materials used for the walls like so. So you can see here, you're kind of mixing, you can have chain link fence being created this way, uh, different styles of bricks. You can provide your own textures. It comes with a number of pre-configured such as sci-fi textures like so. Uh, then we've got uh, the walls around the outside. Uh, you can vertex paint on the walls like so. You can age them like so. Uh, etc. So basically everything you see here, as I mentioned earlier on, is controlled by spline points. So let me go and grab one of the walls here, I'll just use this simple one right here. So this guy right here, you're going to notice it's inherited from a spline. And there are a number of different spline points in this guy. Uh, so if we select the spline here. Uh, come on. And a number of different spline points throughout it. Where? Oh, this is a big wall. Okay, let's find a, let's find a slightly less big wall. All right, so spline. Uh, go through the variety of different points in it. And each one of those, basically, you can move that point like so, and you're going to see the wall automatically adjust. At the same time, it is aware of the underlying terrain um, and will uh, snap to it automatically. So you're basically using these spline control points to create, so let me just grab that guy right there, walls. And there's a number of different options on your walls. Again, you've got the ability to, um, there's nine different preset materials, I believe, out of the box. Plus, you get a number of um, 
you know, you can bring in your own uh, and yeah. So you can basically create walls by creating a set of splines. You also got the ability to, to set doors into those walls and so on. Pretty straightforward on the whole for that one. And that is the end of the hands-on portion. Let's go check out the actual asset. So first one, we've got the Alchemist House. We saw this one in action, so not really uh, much more to say here. The, the textures are 1K, which is actually a little low in resolution. 168 meshes in this, 82 materials going on there. Uh, and then we've also got the old brick house we saw. Uh, this one is much bigger on the whole. So this one also has textures up to 4K in size and 418 meshes and 273 textures. So uh, that one is definitely a bigger pack than the Alchemist one. And then we saw the procedural spline wall system. Again, you can use splines to create um, walls out of there. Oh, so 16 high quality materials there. Uh, and then settings for things like moss aging, coloring, and so on. Uh, so the 16 predefined looks. So it was it was more than I actually said earlier on. Uh, but you get the idea what this one's behind. Basically, you can just basically start creating uh, these things by using um, splines in your world. And you got some fine tune controls over where doors show up and that kind of thing, etc. Next up, we have the probably one of the more interesting ones here is the level design toolkit. And what this is basically is a collection of mostly editor widgets that um, kind of just make it easier to work with um, the, the Unreal Engine editor. It's just sort of quality of life thing. So um, we've got uh, LDTK. Um, these are Unreal uh, utility widgets, by the way. So we have uh, these different ones right there. You can hide and um, hide and unhide a lot of SMs or other actors in your scene. Uh, search using tags, blueprint, interaction system, button, bridge, door, elevator, notification signs, teleporters, spline-based mesh placer, straight line mesh placer, alignment tools, line of sight tools, calculate distance between two static meshes or actors, grid snapping, and so on. So basically, it's just uh, a bunch of extensions for uh, the editor to make your life uh, more pleasant. And definitely, probably one of the more difficult ones to demo because it's kind of workflow related, but let me know if you're interested in a follow-up on this one comes with 33 uh, blueprint classes five uh, utility widgets a data table a struct two enums 26 materials 52 material instances and then we move on to the last of the free for the month ones and this is the close combat animation set it's a pack of 46 animations um, pretty straightforward on the whole so we got 10 attack 11 evade three block uh, nine hit reactions 13 locomotion idle walk run jump jog strafe and uh, so on so if you need animations, that's what that pack is all about. Then we get into the uh, new permanently free. And I think the new permanently free is actually probably the most interesting of the assets. Uh, this one is a procedural building maker. Um, so you basically, uh, yeah, you can start creating uh, building environments really quickly and simply. So fast and easily generate buildings and structures. Works with custom and marketplace modular assets. So if you've got buildings that you've already bought or purchased or you've made yourself, you can use those. Uh, spline and array based uh, full control over building aspects, procedural and manual uh, addition supports, and so on and so forth. So if you want to create your own cities procedurally, well, that is what this is all about. And uh, I would have actually gone hands-on with this, but unfortunately, this was actually the last one I learned about. Uh, unfortunately, I always only find out about the last permanent one, uh, so I can't have time to get it up and loaded and play with it and figure it out and so on. So if you want to see a follow-up on the procedural building generator, well, the nice thing is you've got all the time in the world because, quite frankly, this one is... Uh, in the permanently free collection. So that is definitely nice. Plus you may have noticed there's this banner up here. So this isn't part of this whole thing, but this is an asset they added uh, about a week ago. And this is the character from the uh, Lumen demo, uh, the Unreal Engine 5 demo, uh, fully animated, fully rigged. And you can use her in Unreal Engine 4.27 and Unreal Engine 5 early access. So that is available for download as well. Uh, so that's a fully rigged character. It's got live link face iOS app integration. Uh, so if you want to animate the face, etc., cetera, uh, 24 animations attached to this character. So again, not part of the permanently free or the temporarily free collection, uh, but the Windwalker Echo character is also available now. And then finally, uh, if you want to go ahead and grab these things, basically just head on to Unreal Engine Marketplace and click all of them, add them to your cart, and then buy them for free. Uh, they are yours. You got to pick these things up before the first Tuesday of, I guess that would be October, uh, and then they are yours forever. Coincidentally, there is also the permanent permanently free collection. And that is where the new uh, procedural buildings generator was just added in as well. There are a ton of contents here, but you can obviously buy these anytime you want. By buy, I mean get them for free. So if you want to add something to your cart, literally just boom, add it to your cart, check out, 
and it is then going to be yours forever. Uh, so that is this month's free Unreal Engine content. I know Unreal developers, it's kind of going to be spoiled for Unity developers this month. Uh, but uh, you did get a bunch of free stuff. You get a bunch of free stuff every month. And let me know what you think of this month's collections. I actually I think it's a decent collection. Uh, this one's interesting. Some part of me thinks that we've already had it in the past in a bundle or something, or something very similar to it. Um, more animations is always nice. Uh, two content packs and then the modular spline system. But again, in my humble opinion, uh, the most interesting new element, and the thing I will probably do a follow-up video on if there's some interest, is the procedural building generator. I always love this kind of stuff, and uh, you know, people need to make cities all the time. So that is what that asset is for. So let me know what you think of the contents of this month's free giveaway, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.